Ito could be a very peculiar person. Two men left the room chatting together as if nothing was wrong, and all eyes turned towards Sanan. Sanan, don't, don't listen to that asshole, okay? Um... Sanan said nothing. He stood up silently and left the room. Man, I feel bad for him. Even the men are avoiding him these days. What? what was the first I'd heard of such a thing, but then again I didn't normally see anyone but the captains. I had no idea. Well, he's kind of been a jerk lately. I imagine that's why. It wasn't hard for me to see why they would feel that way. Sanan had gotten even worse in the last several weeks. He wasn't always like that, you know? Back in the day, he was always acting like he was looking out for everybody. Yeah, he was real nice, at least on the surface. Nothing left of that now. Do you really mean that? The way they spoke, it sounded as if any kindness Sanan had shown is always a facade. What the hell does Kondo see in that Ito guy? Okita and Hijikata had largely ignored Nak Nagakura and Harada, but their faces were dark and stormy. It wasn't difficult to guess why. How the hell would I know? Probably just some pulled the wool over Kondo's eyes with some well-spoken bullshit. Then why don't you get rid of them, Hijikata? Tell the Shinsen, tell him the Shinsen Gumi don't need him. Hijikata let out a frustrated sigh and pinched the bridge of his nose. No way, Kondo will go for that. He adores Ito. Besides, when he joined, he brought a bunch of men with him. You think they won't make a stink if we kick him out? Hijikata was right. He didn't like it any more than Yokita did, but they were in a tight spot. Well, damn! Aren't you supposed to be the demon? The commander from hell? You're making- you're supposed to make the impossible happen! Fine, Soji. How about we make you commander? Then you can kick Ito and his guys out, right? <laughs> hell no, that's way too much trouble. He gave a grin as he laughed, but when he finished, he sighed and his face fell. It looked like everyone was unhappy with Ito, but none of them knew quite what to do about it. Do you dislike Ito too, Saito? I'd noticed earlier that he'd kept quiet while the others commiserated, and I was curious what he thought. He looked at me for a moment, then spoke. As an organization grows, it will expand to include people who have differing ideas and points of view. Then he was- was he supporting Ito's appointment deputy commander? Not inherently, no. I was about to ask when he continued speaking. However, if one attempts to force this sort of diversity, then the organization will begin to rot from within. Interesting thoughts on both sides. His words hung in the air, a dark omen for the future of the Shinsengumi. Scary times. It was considered of Ito to join, but his presence seemed to be a recipe for dissension, not if not outright disaster. Scary. <sighs> the setting sun glowed through the windows with a warm, rich red. We decided to move outside in the hope that it might raise our spirits. It's cold. Despite the sun, it seemed the spring was still far away. I wasn't too fond of Ito, but it was Sanan and his condition that truly worried me. I really wish his arm would just heal. That arm, or perhaps more accurately, the lack of it, had been the source of his change in personality. Still, as nice as it would be for Sanan's arm to simply start working again, that seemed like the stuff of a child's fable, not real life. And there's also the part where, I mean, this shows in a big way what Sanan's personality is outside of his own kind of swordsmanship, and not that we can't, we can commiserate and we can feel empathy for him, but there's a point where he's also, you know, gotta be a professional, and I don't know, I guess, I don't want him to tell him to step up in a way, because I don't want him to tell how to feel, but it's a tough position, I don't know. I don't think I'm set on it either. That was when I remembered. If push comes to shove, he'll have to take it. I don't think Sanan's just gonna give up. I don't think that'd be like him either. Don't jinx him, Soji. It's gonna look bad if officers start joining the Corps. Shinsengumi had some sort of something. I didn't know what it did exactly, or even what sort of thing it was, but from the way they talked about it, there were some manner of unpleasant side effects. No, wait, I do remember something. Yeah, from what I heard, it seemed like that it had, uh, that it has the capacity to heal wounds and had something to do with the core. And it's also something I'm not supposed to know about. If they learned how much I'd picked up or what I'd put together on my own, I had no doubt that I'd be in serious trouble. 
It's the Hakuoki! It's the spirit of the demon... The demon of the fleeting blossom! I was hoping... It was possible that they would even kill me. Still, if I could figure out any out of it... If I could figure any of it out, perhaps I could do something to help. I am the daughter of a well-educated doctor, after all. I liked to think that I had a little more knowledge of medicine than the average person. Don't we all think that? Question remained, what should I do? Well, let's go investigate. Night had almost fallen, so I decided to investigate. Now, where should I start? My room was in the Yagi house, which was where the captains lived. It had taken me a while, but I'd finally managed to figure out how to navigate the building. Still, there were plenty of rooms that I didn't dare to go near, such as Hijikata's. There's the Meikawa room, the Meikawa house, too. On the other side of the grounds was the Meikawa house, which was where the soldiers stayed, generally several to a room. I rarely went there, so it was largely unknown to me. Hmm. If I was going to start looking around, I should go to the Meikawa house, or to the places in the Yagi house that I've never been before. Let's go to the Meikawa house. This is one of those decisions where it's like, alright, we're going to branch off, and I have no idea where we're going. Once I was quite sure everyone in the Yagi house was asleep, I made my move. My heart leapt to my throat, and even the smallest noise, but either luck or skill was on my side, and I made it from room to room, from my room to the entrance, undetected. So far, so good. After all, what normal person would be up and about at such a late hour? Now, what next? Hi there. Hi, yeah. Good to see ya. Good to see ya, Soji. Good evening, Chizuru. What are you up to? Hope you aren't trying to escape. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. The escape hadn't even crossed my mind, although he wasn't likely to approve of my intentions. Leaving the compound certainly wasn't among them. Really? Alright, fine. I mean, what would you do out there by yourself anyways? You're right. It was a depressing thought, but he was right. Even if I did somehow manage to escape the Shinsengumi, I would lose my best chance at finding my father. Well, whatever you're doing, you should knock it off. Kids shouldn't be playing around in the middle of the night. <laughs> playing? My shaky attempt at a protest drew only a laugh from Okita. Well, if you see something scary, just make sure you scream right away, alright? Uh huh. That would have gotten me in trouble had I done that earlier. And by trouble, I mean dead. So, we'll keep with the not screaming for now. It sounded rather serious for a moment. <coughs> Don't try and deal with it yourself, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Um, what do you mean by something scary? What well, could I run into Shinsengumi's headquarters? That would be scary. He looked almost surprised for a moment, and then his face broke into a grin. Oh, you know, like a nightmare, a ghost or something. Or hey, who knows, you might run into our commander, the demon. He's a sleepwalker, and sleep fighter, and sleep swordsman. Tough gig. That does sound scary. Especially running into the demon. If Hijikata found out that I was walking around the compound without permission, he'd have my head, and my spleen, and the rest of my body, and my epidermis, and he would, it would actually just, he would sell all of my body in little pieces on eBay. It would be terrible. Pretty much the worst way to go. I, I'm gonna go back to my room now. Good girl. I'll just go finish patrolling the inner courtyard then. With one last small smirk in my direction, he turned and left. My shoulders sagged with relief, and I leaned heavily against the wall. How long was he here? There was no way I could get into the Meikawa house without Okita catching me at it. Still, I had worked up the courage to get this far, I wasn't about to let that go to waste. Hmm, perhaps it'd be better if I stuck the Yagi house instead, and just made sure to n not to go anywhere Hijikata might be. Wait, I'd been so surprised I hadn't stopped to think, why was Okita up so late? It almost seemed as if he was waiting for someone to leave the Yagi house, but there was no way he could know. I would, uh, I would try. If not me, then who? Hmm. Is this gonna be a couple choices too, or are we just gonna tail Okita? I'm cool tailing Okita! That's awesome! It was nighttime at the Yagi house, and completely silent. I felt a little guilty for sneaking around, so I tiptoed down the halls as quietly as possible. Huh? Had my ears been playing tricks on me, or had someone just walked into the common room? I would be in trouble if someone saw me, so I did my best to blend in the shadows and hide. After a few moments of heart-pounding seclusion, my curiosity got the best of me. I departed my hiding place and crept toward the common room. Inside was Sanan. 
Something felt wrong. I was at a loss. Should I speak to him or... Oh no, you're gonna get into some mad news. Whatever this core ritual is. You're gonna watch it all, aren't you? Before I could make up my mind, he turned. I never thought it would be you who would catch me. How unexpected. <laughs> I had no idea what he meant, but his expression caught me off guard. He had a peaceful smile, something I hadn't seen on his face for uh, I didn't know how long. It was a bit too peaceful, as if all his worries had suddenly left him. Is this Sanan? The moonlight glinted momentarily off of something in his hand. You're wondering what this is, I imagine. Oh no, Sanan's gonna be a villain, and then the voice I gave him's gonna match too well, and oh, I don't like this. I like when Sanan's a nice guy. Oh my, oh, we're getting magical up in here. Say goodbye to the historical parts. He held it up as he spoke. It was a tiny glass bottle filled with a crimson liquid that looked to me like poison. Poison. This is a secret ingredient developed by your father, Kodo, under orders from the Shogunate. What? The Shogunate ordered my father to do something? Yes, that's what he just explained. They say it first appeared in the West. The contents of this tiny vial can utterly transform a person. What do you mean by, uh, utterly transform? To put it simply, it makes them stronger and heightens their recuperative abilities. If that was true, then, uh... There is, however, a rather serious flaw. His smile twisted only a little. It was, uh, I suppose you could say it was too strong. It worked as advertised, but drove those who benefited from it, like, uh, mad. You've seen the results yourself, haven't you? Uh... Of course. I've seen the result of that madness the night I first met Shinsengumi. Oh! It's them. Oh, Doki. Yes, I see that you understand. His eyes thinned and he seemed almost pleased. They were no longer capable of what might call rational thought, and were little more than bloodthirsty monsters. Oh no, this Ido guy pushed him over the edge. Why is Ido teasing Sanan then? Like, is he trying to push him to this extent? How horrible. What had happened to the soldiers I'd seen was terrible, but what pressed most heavily on my mind was a single question. If it were on orders of the Shogun, the Shogun, why had my father been involved in such a thing? Such an awful thing. I struggled to process it, but Sanan only kept talking. Now we're starting to put some strings together. Like, a lot of these bits are actually connecting why the Shinsengumi are looking for my father, and why the Shogun is involved, and all of these bits. That, that's kind of cool. If they lose control whenever they see blood, then they're hardly much use in battle, are they? No matter how powerful or unkillable they may be. Kodo conducted experiments on the core during the development of his treatment. No. My father conducting experiments on human beings? That made men go mad at the sight of blood? I didn't want to believe it. I couldn't believe it. That's a good question. Why did Kodo, uh, why did the doctor do that? Dr. Kodo. I tried to speak, but my chest had grown so tight I could scarcely breathe. Sonata either didn't notice or didn't care. I think he's looking for an audience. He's just gonna go bottoms up. Enjoy this, Chizuru. Unfortunately, when he disappeared, his research was put on hold. This file here represents the fruits of my own personal research, based on what he left behind. He gave a small smile and shook the bottle gently. The liquid inside sloshed from side to side, almost lazily. I've diluted it as much as possible. I had so many questions to ask him, but I didn't even know where I might start. I simply spoke the first that came to mind. Then why is it red? If you dilute it as much as possible. If you drink that, will you be okay? It won't, uh, make you go crazy, right? His brows knit for a moment. To be quite honest, I'm not entirely sure. I've never tested on anyone. Okay, so there is... He's back down to Earth. Okay, he's not gonna go, like, power-hungry, at least, right now. Makes me feel a little better. Although human testing was hardly something I would have condoned. <sighs> Excuse me. It was clear that he had very little idea what the concoction might actually do to him. His smile faded. If I take this, my arm will heal. That is, of course, assuming I've mixed it correctly. Y you mean you're actually considered taking it? He had no guarantee that it would, wouldn't simply kill him outright. And even if he did survive, it might well drive him insane. You don't need to do that. A substance that could turn one into a blood for thirsty monster was dangerous enough, but a new version of that substance still unfinished? It's kind of weird they're talking like it's some kind of, like, 
major scientific thing, although it's a little, I don't know, it seems a little out of period. I don't know if they should, like, just talk like it's alchemy or like it's magic, but I don't know if the way they're going about saying, like, human testing and, uh, I don't know, it just seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Maybe that's just me.